Dr. Vadi Krab. Welcome to Fearless Home Cooking. My name is Nick and next to me is Timber, the chef who will explain all details to you. Today we are doing a very healthy, very interesting salad. It's called poached pear, bacon, pecan and blue. Blue. Blue is blue cheese. So today our ingredients are as followed. We have some red wine, we have some mulling spices which are star anise and cinnamon and cloves. We have some pecan nuts, some bacon, the star of the show blue cheese, some pears which of course we have to uh, skin later on to poach them and of course some rocket salad to make our salad. Okay, so after we have peeled our pears, we're just going to go into the pot with the pears and then we only have a few ingredients. It's going to be red wine and cinnamon, clove and anise. We put star anise. Star anise, yeah. And we just put the aromatics in the pot with the wine, put it on about medium heat and pour the wine until it covers the pear. Then you put a lid on it and bring it to a simmer. And it takes about 45 minutes to an hour for the wine to infuse into the pear. So basically you have a white pear mm -hmm. and after the red wine is infused, the pear is red. Yeah, it takes all the characteristic of the wine. And all the flavor. Exactly. The wine, yeah. Which again, in a, in a fancy restaurant, red wine, blue cheese, pear, perfect combination. Yeah, these are all things that like to play well together. Okay, what we're doing is we're taking our bacon and we really fry the bacon and we're using the pecan to toast the pecan to get the flavor out. Exactly, and make it just get a little bit crispy and crunchy as well. Fantastic. Okay, let's do that. So two pots, two guys. Yep. So, <laughs> you can hear that sizzle. Yep, make sure you have your pan preheated like that. And no oil, no butter. There's enough fat in the bacon to completely uh, start the cooking process. Yep. You can see from our pear earlier too, we've taken some of the excess wine and we're now boiling it down until it becomes a little bit thicker like a syrup. We're going to use this for our salad dressing. So it's basically like a moss. If you were taking a balsamic vinegar or something like this and you have a reduction, that's what we're doing here as well. Yep. So again, the bacon is frying and you have time. It is a, a process which takes, what do you think? 10 minutes, five, uh, 10? If you let it go low temperature, about 10, 15 minutes, and this is one of the things at high temperature, you need to sit here and watch it and stir it, but you can accomplish the same thing at low temperature and not have to watch so closely. Putting now, that in. With, with these kind of recipes like salads, you can have pretty much everything done in advance. The pears you can keep in the fridge. The bacon you can do anytime really and leave it out once it's cooked. So you don't have to do everything at the last second. Okay, our pear is ready, our bacon is ready. We are indeed ready to assemble our salad. Like it. So the, the rest of this is just basically putting things together. So as you can see, we have poached the pear. We started off with about double that amount of wine and we let the wine cook down and become more concentrated. And then we've got the flavor of the cinnamon and cloves that have infused into it and then also gone into the pear. Now this juice that's left over, you can keep. You just cook it down a little bit further on the stove and then you can use it to season other things that you use uh, red wine for seasoning. And that's what we've done here. We basically just reduced some of the remaining wine stock to really get similar to a balsamico reduction, but it is a red wine reduction. So once you have everything ready, uh, you're basically just going to build the salad on the plate. So you keep all of your parts separate. We're going to bring our pear from here. And let's see how it came out. So what we should get is a nice clean interior with a beautiful red ring like that. Let's see. And it's nice. soft. And it's cooked all the way through. It's got a really nice texture to it, still a little bit warm. We're just going to cut it into some even slices, lay it out a little, and we pop that onto our plate. You can see 
those nice rings of color there. So this is one of those nice little chef hacks you can have in the kitchen that people wonder, how did you do that? Yeah, and it's not complicated. I mean, you can do it at home. That's the whole point where we're trying to tell you. There's nothing you can't do at home uh, with a few simple ingredients and a few, few minutes of time. I think you would surprise the family totally. So here you have some, again, some rocket salad. A little bit of rocket, and the bitterness of the rocket is going to go nice with the sweetness and the saltiness of the cheese. I'm going to use some spoons and kind of crumble this cheese up a little bit so that my hands don't smell like blue cheese, only my breath. <laughs> or you use gloves, or uh, again, you can use knives, it's not a problem. But again, the, the whole point is it will later on really, with a little bit of bacon, melt a little, it's beautiful. So we've got that. We're going to take just a few pieces of bacon, sprinkle over the top. Okay, a few of our pecan nuts. And you see this? This is your bacon fat. This is normally used olive oil, but in something like this, I always love. That's to... basically your dressing right there. A little bit of the oil. And then we take our wine syrup. I'll use that. And just give it the final little artistic touch. And that's our poached pear bacon and blue salad. So this one, dead simple, very easy and delicious. I hope I see you next time. Enjoy our episode the next time on the channel. Thank you. Kopf und Krapf.